The feds are now investigating Tesla's full self-driving system after the company released reports on some of its crashes. Some crashes involved cars using the mode in low visibility conditions and one that killed a pedestrian. NBC Bay Area's Ian Cole explains what they're looking for and has reaction from consumer watchdogs. Today, the U.S. Federal Auto Safety Regulator is investigating Tesla's full self-driving system. It will evaluate whether it's safe to use in fog, glaring sun, and low visibility conditions. We spoke with the owner of this Tesla, which nearly ran right into a train on a foggy morning in May. Point, I made the decision that it wasn't going to stop, and I yanked the wheel to avoid driving into the train. Craig Doty says it was in full self-driving mode, and he's glad there's an investigation, though he estimates he's driven over 20,000 miles around Ohio on autopilot. Doty says it nearly cost him his life. Elon's talk about full self-driving, and then they got to come back and say, well, it's not really full self-driving. I mean, it does make mistakes. I mean, so then it's not full self-driving. So what, which is it? The probe was launched Thursday after Tesla reported four crashes attributed to factors like sun glare, fog, or airborne dust. And one of the crashes, the car fatally struck a pedestrian. Consumer watchdogs say the technology isn't quite there to be fully autonomous. They use video and they use some radar, but they don't use LIDAR. LIDAR is very expensive. LIDAR is a combination of laser and radar. So when you're just using cameras and you're using some radar, that can be fooled very easily, and that's why people die. The investigation comes after an event last week to unveil a fully self-driving robo-taxi that doesn't have pedals or even a steering wheel. Elon Musk said he expects to make unsupervised full self-driving available in Model 3s and Model Ys in California and Texas next year, but admitted he tends to be optimistic with time frames. We reached out to Tesla for comment on the probe and have not heard back. The company has warned before that the system cannot drive itself and drivers must be ready to intervene at all times. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News. Ian, thank you.